Okay, well, I've got a garden crank up tomorrow, so uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of prep work on the D type. Uh, it's another really frosty morning. The uh, step is uh, pretty icy. A bit annoying. Uh, yeah, it's cold. I've got two jumpers on. Where are you at? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just going to. Uh, we're going to take the crankcase door off. I've never taken it off of the D type. Uh, basically, it's just an inspection door to look inside the engine. Uh, I tend to run it for most of the day, so I want to make sure everything's all right in there that there's nothing in the sump because uh, sometimes uh, when somebody adjusts the valves you could find the um, little caps for the valves have fallen down into the sump <laughs> so I don't want the uh, oil cylinder to flick one of those up into into the gears and whatnot so we're gonna just take the crankcase door off should be pretty simple pretty straightforward just got to move some of this stuff out of the way first everything is in pretty good condition see all the gears there they're all nice there's no broken teeth on those uh, the dipper is nice and straight uh, there's no play in the connecting rod you can see uh, the D-types design here the, the um, crankshaft splits in two uh, so the front here if you unbolt all of those the front wheel come off with the flywheel still attached and it separates there it's just a sort of a pin design which uh, seems to work pretty well and uh, there's no play in that either uh, the noise that you can hear when it's running is purely just the valves they're up in there it's uh, just uh, either um, just noisy lifters I suppose but uh, there are quite a few D-types that have the same sort of racket but um, it's actually no play in the big end which um, I am pleased I'm very pleased with that uh, the oil level looks like it could do with topping up so uh, hello so uh, I'm not sure where the level actually is at the moment But this is probably the best place to test it. Might put some oil in it. Might hurt. Cat is really getting in the way now. You know, the level actually looks uh, looks to be okay. Yeah, the level is just about right. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we we'll, uh, just whip the plug out and uh, just turn her over a couple of times. But I don't think I need to. The level actually looks pretty good. Scrape some of this old oil and rubbish off and uh, we'll go from there but I'm pretty happy with inside the engine there's can't see anything protruding out of the sump uh, that should be okay you can see a uh, change in dipper designs this is quite an interesting design of dipper really quite different to the uh, one on the WD2, that's for sure. But they say these dippers aren't that great, apparently. But uh, it looks like it's lubricating the engine well. All the gears are all nice and oily. All back there has its fair share of oil in it. Yeah, should be okay. You see up into the bore slightly up there. Which looks to be in good condition as well. Oh well, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think. Uh, bad to report in there. Oh well, let's uh, just spend a little bit of time cleaning up this side. Okay, the front case door's back on. Uh, clean the engine up a bit down there. Let's 
So uh, it should be ready for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be uh, running for quite a long time, I should imagine. So yeah, we'll see what happens.